says the Lord whoever follows me will have the light of life praise to you Lord Jesus Christ King of endless glory the Lord be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command these two sons of mine, each one at your right and the other at your left, in, command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you're asking. Can you drink the chalice that I'm going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, my chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but for those to whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority felt over them. It shall not be so with you that among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve and to save his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, dogs, you know what dogs? Dogs in the wild, in nature, travel in packs. So there's a whole bunch of dogs that will go together like a pack of dogs, right? And in that pack, there is one dog that is the head of the pack. Do you know how that dog becomes head of the pack? Well, that's its job, so like until it becomes the head of the pack, what does it do to get that position? Mm -hmm. Well, so did what? That's right. They don't take the lecture, right? The dogs don't get the says, Let's go for this dog over here. We want him to be head of our pack because he's the strongest. No. He usually tears the other dogs to pieces. He fights. To get done with. So every, all the other dogs say, well, who's going to protect the pack? He's torn us to pieces, so maybe he'd be good to tear our enemies to pieces too, right? That's how it works in nature. And the sad thing is, when we as human beings, like we're, as a human being, we're animals too. And we have an animal nature. But we're different than a dog. You know why? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? She's saying we're more mammals. Dogs are mammals too. But what's different about us? <laughs> I wish that was always the case. Some people, she said, we don't fight. We don't fight with goats, which is a good thing. But some people do fight. I'm sorry. What was that? They walk on four feet. We walk on two. That's another difference. But when you're a baby, you walk on four feet. Well, your hands are going to be cut. No. Oh. You know 
The Christian life is not about being in control or being in power, but it's about serving one another. And that's what's really cool. And that, my friends, will lead us to real happiness. It's not easy to die to yourself, but that's what that's all about. It's trying to gain control. Like, oh man, I really want that piece of candy, but you know what? I'm not going to eat this piece of candy because it's like, I'm going to give this up to Jesus. You know, I'd really not rather not listen to my mom and dad right now, or I'd really rather fight my brother and sister right now, but you know what? I'm not going to fight my brother and sister. I'm going to listen to my mom and dad. And then what happens after that? Hopefully you establish these good habits, and then you would fight with your brothers and sisters, and you start listening to moms and dad all the time. It's impossible for us if we just live like a little ball. But if we turn to that supernatural being within us, it can happen. And God gives us all the grace we need to make it happen. So let us pray that we do God's will. And I want to see God's will. Say, God, help me do whatever you want me to do. Because Jesus is the leader of our path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand and bring our prayers of intercession before the Lord. We pray for the church, that she may be a light to the nations and a guide to all peoples. We pray to the Lord. For Sister Rosario and Maria Alban, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. That all nations will work to serve the common good and not be motivated by greed and self-interest, we pray to the Lord. That this horrible war in Ukraine come to an end. That God just help all people see what is true, good, and beautiful. We pray to the Lord. For an end of this pandemic, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood, religious life, faith-filled marriages, and the dedicated single life, we pray to the Lord. That God will remind us and help us to always seek whatever he wants to do that we might follow his will so that we can be really happy we pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father hear the prayers of the people gathered here before you those spoken and those kept in the silence of our hearts answer them insofar as they meet our deepest needs and are in accord with your holy and divine will we ask this through Christ our Lord. <laughs>